question is from Twin Sanity Fitness. What are some tips for mental exhaustion from the gym? Oh boy, change your focus, change yeah. your goals, or get out of the gym and do uh, something outside. Yeah, That's go outside, say. man. Yeah, do do something else. I think if you're if you're you know, there's a million and one ways to be active, and there's nothing wrong with if you're bored or burnt out from your modality of training, and you're just sick of the gym and sick of the weights and whatever. Go do go work out in the park or outside or do body weight exercises or use rings or mm -hmm. do other there's a, so many different ways to be active. That's one of the best ways I've ever found to keep myself motivated was to change the focus from you know strength to maybe endurance or mobility or to jujitsu or, or something else. Yeah, one of my favorite things to do is to take kettlebells and bring them outside and, and do things outside in nature and you know, I've been able to take a mace bell and, like you said, the Olympic rings and things to hang over, like tree branches. And uh, just that new environment, new stimulus, like creates a whole new spark, which then, you know, like inevitably the novelty of that will kind of wear off. You'll find yourself back in the gym. You'll go through that again. It's just it's just a nice window of change, I think, uh, it's just to think like that. This has happened to me uh, a ton of times just in the time we've had this podcast going. Uh, we've only been doing this podcast for five years. Uh, in that time, uh, I took like a, a strength training, bodybuilding type of hiatus where I was 100% mobility focused. I didn't need to be in the gym for that. I was doing a lot of that stuff at home. Uh, then I went on a swimming kick for a while where I was rarely weightlifting, maybe once a week. And then the rest of the time was swimming. And I'm currently playing more basketball than I'm lifting hoops right now. I mean, lifting uh, weights right now. I, I lifted one time last week. I played ball three times. Uh, yeah, there, I you know, uh, a lot of what drove me to weights early on was my insecurities of what I needed to look like. Uh, and, and I, and I occasionally feel that again, like I just did a YouTube video and you know, it's, I, it's inevitable. I get a, you know, a troll on there that will <laughs> say something about me looking like I don't lift weights and, and it reminds me, it stings and, you and then jerks. It, yeah, it well it reminds me of that, that, <laughs> that insecurity that I had as a kid that that's what drove me into lifting weights. Now I'm, I'm a, uh, way more comfortable with, uh, where I'm at for me, as long as I'm, I'm healthy, I'm flexible, I'm mobile, I'm strong. Um, and right now I'm currently not very athletic. And so a lot of that, my focus, the little bit of weight training I am doing is centered around, uh, athleticism and I'm playing basketball. So yeah, I won't look like a bodybuilder. I won't be impressive, uh, for Instagram or YouTube, but I'll continue to remain healthy and I'm focusing on something else. And I know me, I'll be on that kick just like I was swimming last. I'll be doing it for a while. I'll I, I like to work at something and show myself improvement and prove that I can be consistent with it and and show improvement. And then I like to move out of it. Like I've kind of already uh, reached the pinnacle for myself in bodybuilding. I don't think I'll ever take my body to a more of an extreme than uh, what I did getting on stage. And so I just have less of a desire to do that these days. And so I don't need to be in the gym lifting five, seven days a week. Not that I won't do that again or I don't enjoy that sometimes, but I'm also comfortable moving in and out of modalities uh, uh, to keep myself healthy. And the cool thing about resistance training in particular is it's so versatile. You know what I mean? Like you could do, you could work out with barbells and dumbbells. You could use kettlebells. You could do body weight. There's stuff you could do outside. Stuff, of course, stuff you can do in the gym. You could use bands. Uh, you could use suspension trainers. There's so many different ways that you can train and, and, and work your body out. And, and, you know, look, uh, here's the other thing. We have created many, many workout programs. And part of the reason why we've done this, not only is because there's people have different goals, but it's also for the fitness enthusiast who is a long time, they're, they're going to be working out for forever. So if you're working out forever, you could follow this MAPS program, which like MAPS Anabolic, then MAPS Aesthetic, maybe go to MAPS Performance, MAPS Strong, MAPS mm -hmm. OTF, and they're all very different, and it keeps that spark alive because you're training for different things. So you know, if you want guidance, that might be something I suggest. Try some of our different programs that have totally different – like going from MAPS Anabolic to like MAPS uh, you know, OTF – uh, very, very OCR. different. Excuse me. OC oh, I don't know why I said that. Yeah. Oh, OCR. What's OTF? Orange Theory, I think. <laughs> hey. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, OCR, excuse me, Obstacle Course Racing. Um, that's a very, very different workout program, and it's totally – it's 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 different. So for some people, that's fun and exciting. 
Um, so here's the thing I suggest you don't do. Try not to stop. Like yeah. try to not stop working out because you're bored with what you're doing. Rather than stopping, just change it. I think that's the message we're all trying to convey right now.